friends, my name is Teacher Angie and I'm from Options for Learning. This week I'm going to read you the story, The Invisible Boy, written by Trudy Ludwig, illustrated by Patrice Barton. And this is Brian, The Invisible Boy. So in school, nobody notices him. Nobody invites him to play or invites him to birthday parties until one day, a new child started. His name is Justin. So Brian welcomed Justin. Then later on in the story, they became a team where they worked on a school project. And that's where Brian stood out to everybody. Let's find out how. The Invisible Boy. Can you see Brian? The Invisible Boy? Even Miss Carlotti had trouble noticing him in her classroom. She's too busy dealing with Nathan and Sophie. Can you find him? There's Brian. Nathan has problems with what Miss Carlotti calls volume control. He uses outside voice inside too much. Sophie whines and complains when she doesn't get her way. Nathan and Sophie take up a lot of space. Brian doesn't. When the bell rings for recess, Micah and JT take turns choosing kids for their kickball teams. The best players get picked first. Then the best friends of the best players. Then the friends of the best friends. Only Brian is left, still waiting and hoping. JT glances in Brian's direction and just as quickly looks away. We got enough players for each team, he tells the others. Let's play ball. Oh, what happened to Brian? Yeah, he didn't get picked, did he? Wonder why. In the cafeteria, Madison and her friends talked about her birthday party. The rope swing over the pool was awesome, says JT. Yeah, so was the water slide, adds Fiona. That was the best pool party ever. I'm so glad you guys had fun, says Madison. Everyone did, except Brian. He wasn't invited. At choosing time, while the other kids play board games and read, Brian sits at his table doing what he loves best. He draws fire-breathing dragons scaling tall buildings, greedy pirates digging for treasure, space aliens locked in intergalactic battles, and superheroes with the power to make friends wherever they go. Wow, look at his drawings. Can you draw like that? There's a pirate, aliens, there's a superhero. On Monday morning, Miss Carlotti introduces Justin, a new student, to the class. Brian smiles shyly at him. Some of the other kids sneak looks at Justin, trying to figure out if he's cool enough to be their friend. They haven't quite made up their minds yet. At lunch, Madison and JT watch Justin eat with chopsticks. What's that? Asks Madison as she points out Justin's food. It's bulgogi. Bul what? Bulgogi, it's a Korean barbecue beef. My grandma made it for me. It's really good. Do you want to try some? There's no way I eat bulgogi. And the kids laughed. All of them, that is, except Brian. He sits there wondering which is worse, being laughed at or feeling invisible. The next day, when Justin goes to his cubby to put away his backpack, he notices a piece of paper with his name on it. Justin, I thought the bulgogi looked good. Brian, yum. 
At morning recess, Brian finds a piece of chalk on the ground and starts drawing away. Yeah, you're Brian, right? Thanks for the note, Justin says. Hey, Justin, Emilio calls out from the tether ball court. You're up next. Sorry, I have to go, says Justin. By the way, that's a really cool drawing, he adds before taking off. Back in the class, Miss Carlotti asked the kids to team up in two or three for a special project. The kids scurry around the room to pair off. Brian heads toward Justin. I'm already with Justin, says Emilio. Find someone else. Brian looks at the floor, wishing he could draw a hole right there to swallow him up. Miss Carlotti said we can have up to three people in our group. We're only two. Come on, Emilio, let him work with us. Okay, I guess. Miss Carlotti gives the class directions for the project. Your assignment is to work together to write a story about what you see in that photograph. Use your imagination and have fun. Whoa, cool, says Emilio. What kind of people do you think will live in houses like that? I don't know, but I bet Brian could draw them to go with our story, says Justin. Brian smiles as he takes out his lucky pin. And they're off to work together. The crooked story we meet up on the spot. You see how his drawings, they made up a story. It's lunchtime again. Brian's least favorite part of the day. Another 20 long minutes of kids talking and laughing with everyone else but him. Brian, he hears someone shout. Hey, Brian, over here. Brian turns as he's Justin, waving him over. Emilio nods at Brian and he makes room for him at the table. Maybe, just maybe, Brian's not so visible after all. Now they're sharing, they're having lunch together. The end. Thank you very much. See you next time.